today is going to be a little bit of a different video. I thought I was going to try and take a couple of quizzes. And actually a girl that I work with, and she will know exactly who she is, um, we both love taking uh, various types of quizzes. And I thought there was no better quiz to take right now than one on Michigan slang. Because I always feel like it's really interesting to hear about what other states call different things. Because in Michigan, like for example, pop is pop and it's not soda or coke or whatever the heck else you other people call it. But um, it's interesting just to hear like what different places call things. So I figured I moved here when I was eight years old. So I've been here for most of my life. I'm now 26. So I just thought it would be fun to just like take a little quiz together. So hopefully I'm off to the side enough and I... <laughs> gonna try to do something new where I'm gonna screen capture and hopefully put it over here so you guys can follow along and I will also uh, link the quiz in the description box below if you also want to take the quiz though uh, if you watch this video you're gonna end up knowing the answers so I would say stop what you're doing and take the quiz before you see me take it and we'll see how we do um, but I thought this would just be something fun to do and it's a Sunday night and tomorrow's Monday so I thought it would be interesting you bet no one can get 100% on this Michigan lingo quiz, can you? Maybe not 100% because I haven't lived here 100% of my life, but if I uh, did the math, let's see what the math is actually. Calculator. Maybe I should know how to do this mental math. So let's see if I can get at least a 70% here. What's considered the cure for everything or at least for a stomach ache? Cherry soda, Verner's, or kombucha? Well, this is easy because it's Verner's apparently. Apparently Verner's is like this magic liquid here. Which I don't even like that much, but it's a good, you know. Yeah, I guess it's good when you're sick, really. Can we swing by blank on the way home? I need to pick up some groceries. Myers, Ralph's, or Jewel? And the answer is obviously Myers, which I think... Isn't Myers like a Midwest chain? I think it's like in uh, Illinois, maybe, Indiana, Ohio. So maybe you wouldn't have to be from Michigan to know that. Remembering all those Great Lakes is easy if you know the acronym. It's shown, homes, or honed. Uh, this is the first one that kind of like, I don't really know. I've never heard anybody call it like an acronym, but I know the lake, so I should be able to figure this out, right? There's no, there's no great lake that starts with an N, right? Huron, Ontario, Michigan. Oh God. I'm, okay. What? No. Holmes. What? What do you mean? What quiz is two? Did I not click this? No, I guess not. Okay. My bad. You guys should have told me. Over here looking like an idiot. When it's time for a vacation, where do you go? Up north, down south, or out west? Up north, which... Growing up when I moved here and everybody said I'm going up north, I would have figured like they were gonna go like five or six plus hours away to go on a vacation but apparently just even one hour away seems to be up north and I thought that was really weird when I first moved here. If someone's talking about fudgies they just mean summertime tourists, fudge shop workers, or preschoolers and that would be summertime tourists. Choose your answer. It's not always necessary to head to the gym during the winter. You might get a great workout from defrosting your car, shoveling snow, or starting the fireplace. Honestly, it could be any of these things, I feel. Um, but uh, shoveling snow, definitely. Uh, not that I have to worry about that, but that can be hard work. Around here, Halloween costumes work best if you can find a way to work a blank into them. Heavy coat, rain boots, umbrella. This is another one where I feel like it could just be any of these because you never know what the weather is going to be on Halloween here. Um, shoot. I might get this one wrong, but I'm actually 
actually I'm actually gonna say a heavy coat because we never prepped for the rain. We prepped for snow on Halloween in Michigan. Oh, I might have got that wrong. Any Michigander will tell you that dodging ridiculously huge blank could be considered an extreme sport. Curbs, speed bumps, or potholes, and oh my god, the potholes here. It's the potholes, first and foremost. The potholes here are on another level. I kind of honestly wish we did have tolls in Michigan, uh, because <laughs> I go to other states and it's like night and day with those roads. Books might tell you that Michigan State Bird is the American Robin, but you know it's actually the Bumblebee, Wasp, or Mosquito. I'm just going to say the Mosquito because all the lakes. Pasties are cookies. <laughs> what you wear if you don't want to wear a bra? Or small delicious meat pies. Also called pasties. Okay, so that's how what I call them as pasties, but maybe they're called pasties. And that would make sense why it's uh, what you wear if you don't want to wear a bra. But most girls I know are just wearing nothing if they don't want to wear a bra. So, but it's delicious meat pies. And I don't eat meat, so I don't know what these taste like. I've never had one. You're either a blank or a blank fan. You just cannot be both. Um, you are either a Wolverines or a Spartan fan, or you're like me and you don't care about either. But you guys can agree that blank is the worst. The absolute Ohio State. I mean, it's weird. I don't care anything about Michigan or Michigan State, but Ohio is just like the worst state in general. It's pretty much all corn and not much else. And so, while I really don't care, I know the answer is Ohio State, and Ohio as a state just kind of sucks. Sorry, people from Ohio, because I do know quite a few people from Ohio. It's kind of like nails on a chalkboard when you hear someone pronounce it Mackinac, Mackinac, or <laughs> Mackinac? Do people actually say Mackinac? Ugh. It's Mackinac. Wait. It's nails on a chalkboard when you hear someone pronounce it Mackinac, I would say. I've never heard someone say Mackinac. That's even hard to say. Where does Michigan fall on the whole pop soda debate? Here we go, guys. I already schooled you on this one, but it is pop, and it will always be pop. And even though I was born in Virginia and I went to school and grew up in my childhood in North Carolina, it's pop. What on earth is a youper? That's what we call Taurus. Anyone who lives in the Upper Peninsula. Or someone whooping it up at a Wolverines game. It is anyone who lives in the Upper Peninsula. I wish... Why do I see three of this lady? My god, that's a little overboard. Okay, so if you don't live in the UP, that means you live beneath the Mackinac Bridge making. You a troll. Trolls are... That's kind of a fun name honestly. It's a not a sliding door. It's not a sliding door. It's a blank. It's a Michigan thing. Door slide, wall slide, or door wall? What? I don't know this one. Okay, what makes the most sense? Because, okay, wall slide, that doesn't make very much sense to me. I feel like it has to be door slide or door wall. Some of you in the comments are probably screaming at me what this is right now. I feel like I've heard someone call it a door wall, but my insides want to say door slide. Can I get rid of these? It's really distracting me. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going door slide. It's probably wrong. Jeez. Let's play Euchre. I even brought blank with me. Um, cards. That's all you need to play Euchre. Which I did not learn to play Euchre until like two years ago. Which is insane. On Fridays we spaghetti shindig. Pizza party fr fish fry. Spaghetti shindig. That sounds interesting. But I don't think that's the answer. Um, I'm going to say fish fry. Because Michigan, they got a lot of fish. 
And I definitely had some really good fish when I was recently up in the UP. You can practically consider which of these days a state holiday. National Ice Cream Day. Last day of duck hunting season. First day of deer hunting season. Um, personally, none of these, though I do like ice cream. But probably the first day of deer hunting season because so many people partake in it and Michigan is overrun by deer. You're so lucky to call the blank state home. There's seriously nowhere else quite like Michigan and that would be the Great Lakes State. The show me state. What? I'm a verified Michigander, guys. Um, okay. Hey there, Michigan local. You probably didn't have to take too long of a gander at this quiz. I did because I was walking you guys through it. Um, you know all about Michigan slang and lingo like Cupers, Trolls, Fudgies, the Mighty Mac, and Verners. In fact, you know Michigan lingo way better than the average Michigander. Okay. Is it going to tell me I got 100% or what? I guess not. I'm just going to take it that I got 100%, you guys. So, I think I need more of a challenge here. And I think what we should do next is I should try to take a Virginia slang quiz, which I think will be much harder because while I was born in Virginia, I lived shortly after in North Carolina. So I don't know how much the slang transfers from place to place or if maybe my time is going back to visit will aid me in this. But we are going to give it a shot and see how I do. All right, let's give this Virginia slang quiz a shot and mom because I bet you're gonna watch this I think you should take this one and see are you a true Virginian or are you now crossed over to the dark side and you really are a Michigander even though you wouldn't want to admit it so life in Virginia is just a little bit more laid back than everywhere else but with southern charm comes great slang Okay, <laughs> let's uh, do this thing. If someone is going to make groceries in Virginia, what are they doing? Oh, oh Lord, I'm in trouble. I already don't know. Making groceries, cooking, buying groceries, or planting a garden? Well, it makes the most sense that this would be planting a garden, and that just seems like what they would say. So I'm going to go with that one. If something is being stored in the ice box, where might it be? In the basement? They don't got basements in Virginia? That's a northern thing. Uh, anyway, in the basement, in the refrigerator, in the cold cellar. In the ice box? Okay, my granny used to say that, but I thought she meant in the refrigerator, but I thought it was like a freezer that sat on the ground. I'm probably going to get it wrong because that's too, it's too obvious. It's probably the cold cellar, but it ain't cold there. It isn't cold there. What exactly is a crick? A pain in the neck, a creek or a stream, or a ditch? This one I can thank my mom for because she says this every time we go down south. And a crick is a creek or a stream. She'll say, I'm going to go right down to the crick. But I think she says it like as a joke. If you end up at the mixing bowl in Virginia, where might you be? Richmond, 95, 395, 495, Interchange, or Alexandria? <laughs> I don't know any of these. Okay, we... I'm going in blind here. This is kind of like how I went into a lot of tests in high school. Alexandria? I don't know. If someone is talking about the metro, what might they be referring to? Referring to. A metrosexual person, the public transit system, someone who is too big for their britches. Um. I, I don't know. 
Or we're just gonna say the one with the word britches in it because I, I hear that every time I go down south too. Who might be called a Jezebel in Virginia? A woman with a bad reputation, anyone who lives in the woods, the town drunk. Well, she does not look like she has a bad reputation, but maybe she does like at night or behind closed doors she has a bad reputation. Wait, this is an ad. This doesn't even go with this. I'm just gonna get a zero on this. If someone is talking about the university, which institution are they referring to? Virginia Tech, University of Virginia, George Mason. I don't know. University of Virginia, sure. If someone is over yonder, how far away is it? Within sight, but not near. Very far away. Who knows? Honestly, who knows? Who knows? Over yonder can be, like, in the same room. Like, you can kind of see it. It's laying over there. It's that sock over yonder. Or it could be, like, 50 miles away, just over yonder past the creek. So who knows? If you order a drink in Virginia, what might you get? A glass of water, something carbonated, or sweet tea? Not water, but something carbonated as long as it's soda. Um, or did I say pop? Sound off in the comments to my family from down south. Do you, you guys say pop or soda or sweet tea? Um, I'm just going to say something carbonated and that's just from my own family experience. None of them like sweet tea, I don't think. What do Virginians refer to as a buggy? A truck, a shopping cart, or a tractor? And that would be a shopping cart. If someone has a poke in Virginia, what do they have? A bag, a stick, or a phone? A stick? What is a holler? A valley, a creek bed, a redneck? It's either a creek bed or a valley. I consider both because it's like, you know, two mountains are on either side, but there's usually a creek in the bottom, and then that's also technically a valley. I'm gonna just say a creek bed. Come on, Abraham. Am I am I still a Virginian? Guys, I'm not B plus. How is a six out of how many was this out of? Do you guys remember? Was this out of twelve or thirteen? How is a six out of twelve or thirteen a B plus? Somebody needs to go back to school here. But that's pretty good for basically going in blind for most of this. Based on the results of this quiz, you are Virginia slang swell. It's clear that you've spent a good deal of time in this idyllic southern state. You know the slang, the culture, and the language like no one else. Go ahead and brag a little. You've earned it. Okay, well, that's that. Uh, I guess I'm a true Michigander, and I have a B-plus knowledge of, uh, Virginia slang. So I will take it because uh, that's better than I thought I was going to do, at least with the Virginia one. So this was fun. This is a couple fun quizzes on a chill Sunday night with you guys. So I think uh, if you're from Michigan or from Virginia, you guys should take either one of these quizzes that I'm going to have linked below. Or if you are from another state, you can just Google, you know, um, whatever your state is and then slang quiz. And I'm sure like a million results will come up. But um, thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight, and I appreciate you watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!